Now, why do the best race cars in the world and some of the craziest one-off projects you've ever seen on the internet rely on carbon fiber as this material of choice? Well, today we're gonna take a deep dive on why this material is such a high-performing material and how makers like yourself and subsequently myself can use this material to take our projects to the next level in terms of functional performance and being extremely lightweight. Now, the real question is, what is carbon fiber? Well, it's a bunch of ultra tiny microscopic fibers that are predominantly made of carbon fiber atoms. Now, these things are very small, but when you combine them together, they can be stronger than steel. You could think of it as a high tech fabric similar to like cotton or polyester in your clothes, but when used in the right way, it can be extremely strong, extremely stiff, and can even be stronger than steel when you're looking at the weight to strength ratio or strength to weight ratio, however you want to think about it. Shaving weight is the biggest thing for me because my application that I tend to use it in is automotive and shaving weight and gaining strength are some of the greatest things you can have when you're building a race car. So now that we know what carbon fiber is, how is it actually made? Well, typically it starts from a pan fiber, which is basically a fancy term for an acrylic fiber. And what this does is it goes through a few different processes. One of them is getting heated up in various amounts in multiple different iterations. And through that process, it actually becomes carbonized to turn from a white fiber to a black fiber. And with that comes a ton of strength and there's a few chemical reactions that happen along the way, but the end result is a bunch of fibers just like this. Now, this is not, technically it is carbon fiber. It is a unidirectional weave if you would give me that. But then you have different materials and different weaves like these guys. So you take these little guys, weave them together in various different forms, and you can end up with different patterns that have different characteristics. Now your most common weaves are gonna be a twill weave. Those are kind of the, the famous carbon weaves that you see on a lot of different auto manufacturers and aesthetic pieces. But there are also just plain weaves where they're not as aesthetic, but they also have different properties. A unidirectional weave is literally not a weave at all. It's just a big, wide piece of constant direction strands that can be used for loading applications or bending moments to give strength in one specific direction. The great part about a weave is that you get strength in multiple directions all at the same time. So that is the main purpose of weaving your fibers from something like this, which has strength in one direction to getting strength in multiple directions. Now these fibers on their own aren't very stiff. As you can see, they're very bendable. But when you pair them with different resin systems and different applications like vacuum bagging, you can get them into cured parts, just like some of these examples. Now these have gone through a process of infusing resin with the fibers themselves, and now they become drastically stiffer. And with that stiffness, you get the compression strength of carbon fiber. Now, why should carbon fiber be used in applications? That's the biggest question is this thing costs a lot. It's kind of hard to deal with, but why would you actually use it? Well, it all comes in strength to weight ratio. It can be five times the strength of steel at the same exact weight. So you can use less of it, get equivalent strength, and everything is great. Now, the magic happens with the factor that when these carbon atoms are bonded together, they form a semi-crystalline structure, which is incredibly strong. Without that, the carbon fiber itself wouldn't all be all that strong. It would be more similar to a fiberglass. Alignment of the crystalline structure makes the carbon extremely strong for its weight because all of the molecules are in the same direction, the same axis, so it can be incredibly thin while having very, very high chemical bonds. Now, one of the things about it is it's extremely stiff. It's a lot stiffer than most metals, so when it's fully cured and in application, it doesn't bend as much. Another positive of it is that it's very thermally stable. You can basically take a blowtorch to this stuff and the resin might melt away, but the carbon itself won't. If you need a real world application of why this material is so great, take a look at Formula One. They use carbon monocoques. Yes, I know it sounds funny, but it's the correct term to protect the driver and also as the frame, chassis, everything. It is so strong that it can both protect and serve as the car itself. So it's light enough to make it into the upper echelons of motorsports and still keep everyone safe. I think that's a great material. Now carbon fibers applications are basically as wide as you can think of. If you can imagine it, I'm willing to bet that you can make it with carbon fiber. It's used in motorsports, wide body kits, aero components. It can be used for literally anything as simple as a patch panel. 
where you just have a hole and you want to cover it, but you don't want to use steel because it's heavy and it rusts. And you don't want to use aluminum because maybe you just don't have aluminum and you want it to be super thin. Carbon fiber is a great option for things like that because it weighs nothing and it's very, very malleable. It can take any real form that you want as long as you kind of give it a little bit of forethought and don't just rush into things. Now let's take a look at some pros and cons of carbon fiber. Now, obviously an incredible pro is that it has an insane strength to weight ratio. Another one is that it doesn't corrode like metal. And honestly, it's very aesthetically pleasing, especially if you get the weaves right, you get a good, nice finish on it. It looks incredible. Now with all of these great things, there's also going to be some downsides to it. Now it is brittle in terms that if you impact it with enough force, it will shatter. It won't bend. It doesn't take impacts nearly as well as metal does, but if you keep it under that fatigue and that impact point it is very, very strong. It's also a little bit expensive. Let's be honest. Unless you're really diving into something and you buy a lot of it, just buying it as a one-off thing, once you get all of the, the resins and the different fabrics and everything needed, it can come out kind of expensive when looking at other just general metal applications. And it's a little bit hard to work with. Honestly, if you're the first time doing stuff with carbon fiber, you're probably going to mess up, but that's okay. It's all a learning curve. And once you do it a few times, you really start to understand the nuances of it and what you can do to make things even better and simpler for yourself to make sure your project turns out well the next time. And honestly, a pro tip is to start small. Don't make big projects the first time. Start with something really small, really just simple, just to get your feet wet and just kind of work with the material to see how it's gonna come out. That will really get you familiar with the material and how you can use it. Now, what is coming in the future of carbon? Now, the biggest thing that's happening in the world of carbon fiber right now is people are actively trying to figure out how to recycle carbon. It's typically been a one-off use material. So you get the fibers, you cure it, you make your part. And if your part breaks, there's not a really good way to reuse that. A lot of companies now are starting to take those cured parts, chop them into little tiny pieces, and then use that as either a chop strand application, or sometimes they even make it so small that it then leads into a different application of 3D printing. Now, a lot of filaments now are coming out with either glass filled or carbon fiber filled filaments. And these can basically increase the stiffness as their microscopic amounts of carbon, but it helps bind everything together. And honestly, whatever comes in the future is up to you guys. Whatever you can think of and build, that's what's coming next. There is no limit to how this material can be used in the real world. So just start thinking. It can be anything. It could be tech, it could be car, it could be home, it could be whatever you want it to be. So from F1 cars to maybe your project car, carbon fiber is the key to being strong and light. So let me know, what is your dream carbon fiber thing whether it's a home project, a tech project, or even a car project. I want to know because maybe it'll inspire me or someone else to use that idea in their next project. Now, what do you think? Is carbon fiber too much of a either a price differential to get into or is it just too scary to work with? Or is it something that you're going to try and tackle on your next project? I'd really be curious because I love it. It's a great material. It's There's a steep learning curve, but once you get an understanding of the material, it can do great things. Now, if you're interested in more of a complex carbon fiber project, I've linked a few of those either down here, over here, or up here. So if you want to see how I do things, which is basically the way no one says you should do it, but it's the way that makes the most sense, both for me economically and my resources, then make sure to check out those videos.